In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of QuizMaker, and then in the follow video, we'll actually create some quiz questions. So if you're just getting started, you'll notice that QuizMaker uh, links out to some getting started videos. Um, I highly recommend those uh, because it answers a lot of the basic questions you may have. And of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to jump into the forums and you'll get all sorts of help there. Let's go ahead and create a new quiz. So I'm going to click that button. And this opens up this manager window here. And what we can do is see a big picture or overview of the quiz so we can see what we have. We don't really have anything in here yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a graded question real quick. So I'm just going to go to graded question. I'll choose multiple choice, insert. And you can see the form opens up. So I'll just add a question here. Uh, who was the first president? And um, let's go ahead and add some choices. Now you can add, you can randomize them yourself, but you don't have to because you'll notice there's a shuffle option up here. And so that'll allow you to uh, shuffle those um, automatically. Adams and let's, oops, let's add uh, Lincoln in here. Okay, so we've got some choices. We're going to select Washington as the correct answer. If I wanted to, I could add media and other things and modify the feedback. But for this, we don't worry about that. Let's just go ahead and come back to the questions. Now you can see I have a question in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this just so we have extra questions to work with. So I hit Control D and um, that's going to duplicate this. So we'll duplicate a few times. All right, so I've got some questions in here. Now let's look at what we have. So if I want to insert questions, you can see I can do that right here. It's what I just did. Um, the other thing I can do is insert a blank slide. What's nice about blank slides, let me insert one. Uh, what's nice about a blank slide is that it's really just a slide to put content on, but it's not a graded question slide. So where it comes in handy, a lot of times people will uh, put them at the forefront. So you may take that blank slide and move it up front. And this might be some introductory information, or maybe it's, you know, here's the anatomy, you know, the, the digestive tract, and then you can follow that up with some questions. A lot of people also use the blank slides to customize feedback. So instead of using the default feedback, they'll actually branch to a blank slide. And what that gives you is more room to work with. So you have the full slide to work with rather than that default feedback box. So a lot of neat things you can do with the blank slide. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is we have question groups. So right now, if you look at this, uh, we have one question group, which is as uh, question group one. I can collapse that. I can expand it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I can retitle it here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this by selecting the group and go Control D. And so now you'll see that I have uh, two question groups here. And so this is where expanding and collapsing really makes sense because now I can see just the questions I'm working on. Um, so within the question groups, a few things you can do is you can move your slides around, right? So you're not stuck. Uh, having to go in and out and change the order. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can randomize them. So let's say I've got a question group here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go up here to the top. I'm going to randomize that. And then you can see it added the text randomizing all questions or randomize all questions. I can also change you know, how many questions I want to pull from that. So let's say I want to randomize it, but I only want three questions uh, from that particular pool. So when you're going through the quiz, you're only going to get three uh, but you'll get three chosen from this pool of questions in this group. The other thing you'll notice with randomizing is, and this is actually a good example here, I may have like an introductory slide. If I randomize this, what's going to happen is this is all going to get um, randomized. So the introductory slide might just be the third slide pulled rather than the first slide. So what I want to do is lock this. So if I come over here to the where the randomization option is, you can see I got the option to lock the question. So I'm going to lock that question to the top of the group. And you'll see there's a little link now. And what that tells me is I'm going to randomize this. This will always be locked to the question, the top of the group. So this will always be pulled in. And since I'm choosing three questions, I'll get two other slides to work with. So if I actually wanted uh, four, I would go ahead and choose four. And so I've got this one plus three random ones. And then what will happen is this one will always appear. The same thing is 
I can lock questions to each other. So let's say this was a part one question, this was a part two. So I don't want the part two to come in without having part one. So I can lock that to the top of the question. And so now I can see that those two questions are linked together. So if this one gets pulled in, this will get pulled in as well. So that's working with the question groups. Um, the other thing we can look at is importing questions. So you can click on the import question. Uh, what you can do is you can bring questions in uh, from other quizzes. So you may have like a just a question quiz or quiz that you use to, to pool all your questions and then you can pull those uh, from that. Uh, the other thing is you can uh, use a spreadsheet. We have a template that you can download from the community. But there's a spreadsheet that you can use in Excel and you can customize that and actually have a subject matter expert uh, fill in the information on the spreadsheet and then you can upload that and that'll pull in the questions into uh, this and that'll make uh, working with um, your subject matter experts a lot easier. Uh, we'll look at some of the other things uh, in the other tutorials, but that's basically it uh, as far as a basic overview of QuizMaker and what you have here in this manager window.